Alrighty then. <clears throat> Writing while traveling. Successful Indie Author 5-Minute Focus, episode 257. Hopefully the microphone's working. I forgot to check it. Um, <clears throat> Writing while traveling. While you're traveling, you're usually unable to establish a routine because each day holds something different because you're traveling, vacation, you're doing other those things that uh, aren't routine-like. What you need to do is you schedule. Sometimes people will get up early, uh, you go downtown, go down to the lobby, grab a coffee right there for a while. And I think one of the most important things to do for planning to write while traveling is planning for fewer words. Simply accept that you're not going to be able to get a normal word count because you're traveling, you're doing stuff that's not what you're used to. Mindset is really important here. Don't expect to get as many words as you usually do. One of the things I do when I fly, uh, yes, I do like flying uh, business class or first class, but I've found that the little tray out of the arm armchair are too close and I can't type as well. And also in business class, first class, uh, they want to bring you meals that are uh, bothering you. Uh, yes, bothering you. It, it's it's okay. I actually now opt for exit row. With the exit row, I've got enough room. The tray out there, I can do it. Uh, the 737 exit row is is optimal for me. Uh, I'm not so wide that I need that business class first class seat. So that's the ticket. Save money on the on the airfare and be able to write. Last couple trips, I've gotten up to eight thousand words on on flights. So. This is understand yourself and understand what works for you. Maybe being in business class works for your productivity. Uh, long haul business class helps a lot, but those are really, really spendy. Does that offset the uh, what you can earn by writing those words? You got to take all that into account. <clears throat> when can you write? Early morning, midday, maybe the evening? Sometimes there's great opportunities. Sometimes you can dictate onto your phone if you are, are able to dictate. I personally am not. That do, that just absolutely doesn't work for me. I need the tactile approach and being able to see the words. That's the only way I can write. So that's uh, that's what I do. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> on business travel, which is something different than vacation travel, business travel is a great opportunity to write. Unless you're doing a lot of uh, hand-holding, meeting and greeting, and, and business meetings, you've got to focus your on your business because your job, hey, that's what your boss is paying you for. That's what you're paying yourself for if you're a, a business owner and traveling for that purpose. But you got to also give yourself downtime. You're, you have to give your employees downtime. Your boss needs to give you downtime. If you're traveling for business, they own you 8 to 12 hours a day outside of that. It's you. You should be able to then work that as executives, all that's out the window. You have to glad hand, you have to do certain things, but you still should have a certain amount of time to yourself. And you're in a hotel room by yourself. You're not uh, there with uh, with a spouse and two kids in one small hotel room trying to be productive. You know what? That ain't going to work. So that's why I recommend a hotel a lobby. Hey, dear, I'll leave you here and, uh, uh, and the kids. Everybody's sleeping. Sneak down to the hotel lobby, grab a coffee or a tea or anything. And, and jam some words there. And usually hotel lobby has free Wi-Fi too. Almost everyone on the planet will have that. So those are different things you can do. Uh, the most important is plan for fewer words. <clears throat> and uh, you'll be in a better place to not be disappointed if you don't get those words. But you can still write every single day. And this is uh, uh, maintaining that momentum. You plan for no words. You get a few words every day. You come back after a week and, hey, holy cow, look at that. I've got 5,000 extra words. That's a bonus because if you, don't, if you don't expect any. And you're going to find that sometimes you can really jam. On the morning of my Sunday, because he started, uh, it was an afternoon wedding, I was able to get 1,000 words before the event started and uh, uh, we got rolling and, and fully engaged in, in the wedding. Uh, <clears throat> so that's... Uh, Plan appropriately, be in the right mindset, get words when you can, and uh, a routine. So don't try to get into a routine. Oh, I have to get up at four and do this. Uh, you're on vacation. Clear your mind. Do what you need to do. And then just find that time where you can get a few words where you a disappoint partner, uh, <laughs> run afoul of your boss if it's business, and uh, 
add some words to it. Hopefully that helps. All right. Peace, fellow humans.